Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. You exit the space that emanated around Zeron, that, that sort of, the steward's lair, and you manage to extricate yourself from extra-dimensional space. You... You feel yourself touched down in a new room, sort of ice slick on the floor around you, and you feel like you've returned to the castle proper. You're not quite sure how much time has passed, but... Oh, wait, crap, time. Oh, yeah, wait, right, wait, 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 time. <laughs> you've, you've been leisurely strolling to preserve your energy up until now, but you are on the run from a significant number of people, actually. You you touch down in the ice room and begin to slip and slide. Oh, boy, Kier whoa, shoots whoa, whoa. past you and starts to slide away with Reginald. Okay, okay, which way? Which door? Uh... Well, I don't know. Um, I guess there's a very slow penguin walk out to the center of the room. <laughs> Does it matter? Uh, don't we decide which door goes where? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Craig, right. decide which door goes where. Quick, straight across. It's easiest. God, God, everyone hits each other on the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh oh. I'm slipping and I'm going to run into someone because I have shackles on. So if. <laughs> You don't want to get run into- Move! <laughs> you don't want to get run into, you better remove them from me. You go into the next room and throw open the door, and you hear the hissing of ghosts sort what? of pour uh, out from the room. Hmm. You get the feeling that this room was once populated by a very clever joke and or reference, but is now completely <laughs> abandoned. A keep stands in front of you. You take a, you take a look at something labeled the Ebon Ward, colon, keep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's all have a seat. I don't know about you guys, this looks stressful. <laughs> yeah, this looks cool, but also anxiety-inducing. Come yeah, on, no, let's I'm, go. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting anxious just looking at it, like, man. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing Talk about something. pressure. Careful, careful of the table, looks a little edgy. <laughs> <laughs> it is you a guys. very nice table, though, and ooh, yeah, razor-sharp edges. Let's get out of here. You guys shove your way through the room and travel to the next. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You throw open the next door trying to clear as oh. much space as physically possible, and you see a pool with a turtle immediately to your left. <laughs> Whose turtle mm. is that? Oh, that's a cute turtle. <laughs> oh, uh, can I call dibs on the turtle if it's nobody's turtle? D d don't touch the turtle! <laughs> I'm not gonna touch the turtle, I'm going to name the turtle and love him like a son. Well, don't touch him, just name him and let's yeah, go. Yeah, just name him and let's leave. <laughs> your name is Ferdinand. You whisper gently to the turtle and then continue on with your life. Hold this within your heart. I'll be back for you. <laughs> Looks pretty big for a turtle. Yeah, pretty big for a Ferdinand, too. Yeah. <laughs> you, you walk up to the door and golden light begins to actually pour out from it. Nahal recoils, naturally opposed by anything shiny and or mm. bright. <laughs> oh god, what is going on? How cat-like of you. You look, you look as a thin layer of smoke or mist begins to pour out of the room, just roll out across the floor. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's inviting. You feel, you feel welcomed. Wait, is that mist? Or is that the, is that the <laughs> fresh scent of something baked? Oh, yeah, mm. it's a combination of delicious cheeses, tomatoes, and other sauces. You've done it! You finally found the passage to the pizza room, and having overcome the trials of multiple stewards, the way is clear, and you slowly open the door. What? What is that inviting smell? What is that wonderful, melodious music? You, you, slowly, you slowly open the door, mm. and, uh... You, you step into the pizza room as a skeleton begins Whoa. to rhythmically play the xylophone, welcoming you in. <laughs> Could it and be pizza time? What is this magical realm? 
Is, is this the elemental plane of pizza? And immediately in front of you, you see someone sitting at the table. Someone you thought you'd bid farewell to. Standing <gasps> in front of the Holy mountain shit. of infinite breadsticks is, uh, is Rory. <laughs> Rory! <laughs> now, Rory the Story Bamblu- Bam- Rory! <laughs> the last thing that you remember, Rory, was you were going through the rake room. And uh -huh. <laughs> you were wandering across and suddenly something happened. You were grabbed and vanished into the depths of the castle. That oh, so this is this is the real me then. This is the actual Rory the story. <laughs> you see, <laughs> the function of the pizza room is and always been. There are multiple instagib traps within Castle Crowhenge. And I considered it, well. Well, while it was fun at the time to instantly kill your characters, mm -hmm. I considered it to be slightly unfair to them as people. So, instead, yeah. you have been rewarded with a dimension of infinite breadsticks, always waiting for the pizza to arrive. <laughs> it never <Wow>. comes. <laughs> Is Rory able to leave? Uh, maybe now. <laughs> he hasn't okay, until- but, but he hasn't been able to up until now? He has how did not you, been how able did you to enter this, this pizza? How did you enter this pizzergatory? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got questions. Who the hell? Oh wait, you were with those. Oh hey. Uh hi. Uh what? I'm Rory the story, Bamboo's Lay. The story is that I rock. <laughs> but, but Rory, how did you how did you get to the Zo world though? <laughs> <laughs> oh Chardonnay? Wow. You're still around, huh? Where's where's the rest of the team? Well, uh, <laughs> I got fired, I guess. I have a new job, kind of. Boy, it's a lot has happened since you've been getting pizza. Cool. Yeah, it seems I'm like it. Give it a shot. <laughs> Although. Well, hey, I, I mean, I've, I've just been grooving on this mountain of infinite breadsticks, but uh, maybe I'll try and leave now. Get back to living life. <laughs> All right, guys, I appreciate this closure, but can we get it to go? We're being chased right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll buy you some time. <laughs> <laughs> Rory, he you, like, you... He, like, holds up a fan of, uh, shuriken, why not, oh. and just <laughs> walks out the door nonchalantly, whistling to wow. himself. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. Bonk, 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 That bonk. wasn't cool, he's faking. <laughs> <laughs> I can see his knees shaking. But actually, fear is cool. I take it you, back. You... You feel you feel an aura you feel an aura of peace around the pizza room. You get the feeling that this is if if you had any last chance to just spend within the castle, this is this is probably it. Surrounded by the infinite breadsticks and the pepperoni flowers and the skeleton mm -hmm. playing the xylophone, you feel an aura of peace radiate. Oh man. I know, like, I've definitely heard the legend of Pizza FNA, but I r could really do with some of these breadsticks. <laughs> I just don't want to get stuck in the underworld for eternity, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, you, you, pick up, uh, you pick up one of the breadsticks and you begin to, you begin to ponder existence. Deep within Steel Point, Vice... Vice travels to the former dungeon. Now it's been moved and it's been hidden behind a dozen rooms, most of which feature sort of comical or novel traps. He he somehow finds his way here and uh, walks down the corridor and begins to choke almost immediately because the prison that Kira was put in is now yeah. completely on fire. He looks into it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking morons! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Horrible caustic black smoke, I assume. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, no, there's there's smokes of various colors, <laughs> none of which are good. He he slowly he 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 reaches the door and fumbles with a set of keys and uh, actually unlocks it, removing the final barricade on the final cell within Crowhenge. Someone within, sort of hunched against the corner, looks up, eyes recoiling from the light. Okay, you're up. He smiles at them. <sighs> Why me? Well, hmm. I thought you'd be interested in revenge, too. He mm. smiles, beaming ear to ear. And, uh, he, he, he takes a step back, letting the person emerge from the door as his own form begins to sort of slip. 
what was apparently a person is actually sort of a an ugly collection of different waters and muds. It mm. begins to slide down through the grating. Ah, with that, I need to get back to, well, I guess you could call it my leader. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you. Um, swords down the hallway on the right. Good luck with the fire. <laughs> he, yeah. he oozes away and vanishes as someone emerges from the cell. Anyway, back to the pizza room. <laughs> <laughs> so Vice was a bog witch all along. <laughs> <laughs> There's the deep lore. Uh, who's, who's sitting down and having breadsticks here? <laughs> Come on, everybody, eat as fast as you can. We need to see what the limit of the unlimited breadsticks is. Okay, yeah, I'm up for this challenge to hold. Like, if this is, if this is a the basic name, enchantment, we, we might... Well, okay, <laughs> they say that, but I I I bet there's fine print there. And we're frankly, if we're all working together, I think there's a good chance we might be able to just dumpster the enchantment that's... If it is an enchantment. Huh. Yeah, friendship conquers everything. Friendship conquers everything, even unlimited breadsticks. Yeah. <laughs> That is the saying. Hmm. Kira and the skeleton have each taken one of the little donkey things and are playing different sides of the xylophone. It's oh, nice. actually rhythmic and nice. <laughs> I abstain from carb loading. I don't want to lose my figure. <laughs> uh, Marcus, like, chomps breadstick after breadstick and then starts just, like, chucking them over his shoulder instead as fast as he can. <laughs> they just keep coming. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this one's golden. Nahal eats it anyway. Wait, 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 did it have did it have like a key inside? Did it have a rat coin? <laughs> that's, Delicious. that's how you get that's how you win the keys to a pizza factory or a legendary <laughs> breadstick factory with a zany proprietor. I don't I don't know about you, but I'm kinda never want to see breadsticks again after this again in my life. <laughs> I mean I never wanted to see breadsticks now. <laughs> but here we are. What did the breadsticks do to you, man? <laughs> Dude, I look, I've had a lot of breadsticks in my time, and frankly, they're just kind of bland. Just just give me the pizza, you know? <laughs> Zarin's like sitting in the corner. She's like taking breadstick after breadstick, and she, she kind of well, looks She up. hasn't probably eaten in a while. Uh, there was there was food back there and whatever the hell space I got put in. Um I don't know about you guys. I, I think I'm going to stay here with the breadsticks, you know? What a fitting end. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can keep an eye on them for us. Yeah, I, I should probably go check on Rory, because last time I lost sight of him, I guess another Rory showed up, which is raising a lot of questions I'm now realizing. <laughs> <laughs> Chardonnay is kind of just like staring at the breadsticks. Chardonnay, you've already lost sight of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No, it's okay. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll catch him, and... Frankly, I don't know if there is a better person with whom to tackle an existential uh, conundrum. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I better go. I should go check on him. But listen, I know these breadsticks must have done something bad to you because you don't like them. But just remember, breadsticks mm. can be bread tricks. And she points at the table and there's a pyramid like stacking cards <laughs> of breadsticks. That's for you. That's Excellent advice. Huh. Here. Um, before, before you go, let me. Uh, Marcus has picked a big handful of roses and he like puts one in um uh, he puts one in chardonnay's hair oh oh uh, thank you i hope we see you again but if we if we don't then be well yeah i well listen i really hope we could work together again i had a lot of fun with you guys besides Aww. i gotta find thought because like if you still got that job well, i'd like to have it because i've been informed i had a bad boss before and like now that yeah. i hung out with you guys <laughs> Man, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we'd love to have you. Yeah, we'd uh, be great bosses. Definitely, definitely check with Thog, and best of luck. Okay, well, lock and load. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Guys, you know how hard it's going to be to escape the castle by going the exact opposite way we're going? <laughs> Mm. Chardonnay walks out and uh, in, a, in a layer of garlic bread mist vanishes from yeah. your lives. <laughs> you notice that she had a third gun in her mouth. <laughs> okay, everybody, I got, I got roses enough for everybody. Let's come here, come here. This is going to be our cool, our cool, like, final battle thing. Oh, neat. Okay. Who told you this was the final battle? <laughs> I mean, 
I it just, says it on the door. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I wasn't so perceptive today. You don't, like, find an interdimensional pizza room and not have some sort of final climactic boss fight right after it. That's just... It doesn't work that way. Anyway, rose for you, rose for you, Reginald, rose for you, Zaren. Uh, thank you. Reginald begins trying to pick the shackles with the rose. <laughs> Rose for this pile of breadsticks. Rose for Harlock. Rose for Gregor. Rose for Kier. One more rose for Kier. And the rest just jammed in this fella's <laughs> ribcage. <laughs> you shove them you shove them in the skeleton's eyes. Thank you. <laughs> These are a uh, representation of our unbreakable bond as adventurers and friends. Kier what happens when they die? <laughs> then we probably die with them. <laughs> <laughs> Nahal's halfway through eating hers. Oh, really? <laughs> well, fi- kind of figurative. I, I kind of meant it more as like, if, if one of these is destroyed during the fight, that probably means that you were also obliterated since, you know. Ah, oh, it'll be symbolic or something. Oh, no, okay. no, like, like your, your head will literally be vaporized or oh something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I figured it was some sort of uh, commentary on the lack of permanence of life by handing us these decapitated plants. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it really makes you think, doesn't it? Nah. I'm always thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kier stands up. Got all my xylophoning out. That's the last thing I wanted to do on my bucket list. I'm ready to die. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're not gonna what? die. Nobody's gonna die. Somebody might it's die. It's gonna be dangerous, but let's not. Listen, I've gone my, I've gone, Marcus, I have gone my entire life mm-hmm. with this image in mind of finally sharing a xylophone with the skeleton that I am not afraid what? of. Whoa. And here, you I, did it. You overcame, yeah, you overcame I, your fear. I, listen. My fear of skeletons is cancelled out by my appreciation for the arts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy, I know what you mean. Oh. I'm so proud of you. Yep, so there's, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing left for me in life. Lock and load. <laughs> That's <laughs> really enough. not true, but yeah, lock and load. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> listen, listen, you, uh, demon man, big man, small man, the rest. <laughs> I know we've had our differences, but if you don't undo my shackles and we go in there, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Can you live with that on your conscience? Yeah, that's that's a lot, and this is probably the first good excuse you have for asking that. <sighs> what do you guys think? Should we... Should we let the old man go? Uh, I could, like, keep him here with me. Like, we could keep him tied up. I mean, I could... yeah. uh, feels kind of kidnappy. Uh, what was what we've been doing? Uh, <laughs> it was, I don't know, spoils of war? You've been jamming hay into his mouth. <laughs> okay, yeah. I would have <laughs> rather died hours ago. <laughs> really? You owe me this. <laughs> here, Reginald. Um, Marcus makes a tiny little Eldritch Blast and uses it to, uh, burst the, burst the chains that are binding him. Thank you. And while I'm at it, can I actually attempt some, uh, Sorcelock fuckery to imbue each of these roses with a charged Eldritch Blast? Oh, like, fascinating. I, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking that he, that he is kind of tooling it so that it's like a, um dissipated over an area, the sort of thing that could hopefully, t- like, take a hit for each of them one time. Look, I just enchanted all of your roses, and they should be able to function as a shield for a single dire hit. Um, if you focus on it, you can probably trigger it yourself, otherwise it'll probably just eat any attack that might have otherwise killed you. Ah, oh, this is awesome! Oh, good! Now I'll make a Super safe escape. Bye! <laughs> yeah, okay. I did not enchant his. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Kier says, watching him walk out. So you gave us rose armor? Yep. 
kind wow, of cool and poetic. That's really cool, actually. I should have named it that. It's yeah, I yeah. sure did, and I technically <laughs> technically had to use a uh, few little pieces of my soul to do it. Oh, fun fact. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. Is that good? <laughs> Bad? I don't have. That's much awfully content. permanent. <laughs> It's kind of yeah, a, a little forever. <laughs> I don't know, maybe very slightly bad, but I have a strong soul. I think that it's it's like your soul is like your liver. As long as you still have a certain amount of it, it'll grow back. Oh, yeah, it'll I just think. grow okay. back. You'll de- you, sometimes yeah, you no get problem. two, and that's even better. That's why when I get stabbed, I try to make it go into the liver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are weird. <laughs> Saren, like, puts a hand up. If you guys ever swing by Altrea, I think I'll probably be back there. I'm probably gonna turn in my two weeks for the Hunter's Guild. Not a bad idea. Yeah. That place I made it back. really sounds t- horrible. <laughs> it's, like, I, I, I finished the job and everything, I guess, technically, so, like, I can... I can return with my bounty, so that's good, and I can live off that for a bit, so, like, no big deal, honestly. If you if you guys are ever in the area, like, I'll try a Renalyn, um, try and find me. I'm gonna try to, like, start a map-making thing, I think. Was that, like, a challenge, or, like, a, we should hang out if you're ever <laughs> nearby? <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, no, the challenge aspect actually sounds like a lot of fun. I kind of always wanted to make treasure maps. So it's, like, extreme friendship hide-and-seek. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she nods. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. It's been Good real. Luck. Okay. Off we go. <laughs> Don't get lost. <laughs> uh. Well, I guess before we walk through this door, I just want you guys to fix your faces because I'm not going to let any of you morons die as long as I'm alive. So Aww. keep an eye out on Aww. my corpse because then you're in trouble. <laughs> What? Uh, <laughs> don't, don't talk like that. And also group wow. hug. I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> no, Harlock, get back in here. Marcus uh, grabs grabs Harlock and pulls her into a group hug and then reaches behind him and yanks, Z- yanks Zeran into it as well. <laughs> and, and the hog. Um, Quack! <laughs> Everyone is pulled You guys in. are the best, and I love all of you. <laughs> we're gonna, we're going to do this. I, I hate this. I will never get used to this. <laughs> I love this. I said the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It may be the last time it happens, so look on the bright That's side. That's good. <laughs> you might not need to. It, it won't be, but I just, I need you guys to know how important you are to me, and I just, uh, man, I, I could never ask for a better group of people to just dive through a deadly interdimensional dungeon with. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Marcus releases uh, his his hold. <laughs> you know, you're really strong. That's a lie. That is a bullshit lie. Yeah. Your constitution's just worse than yours somehow. <laughs> a match How made in heaven. are you alive? <laughs> <laughs> She's somehow... You have a five, she has a three. <laughs> Does she have hollow Oof. bird bones in addition to... Jesus. I don't fucking know, man. She is I a don't chimera. Know. It's that gargoyle uh, blood. Fair point, yeah. <laughs> there, there is a reason why Hilda is so protective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did they like mash a few of the organs together to like you know? Stop uh, trying to figure out my anatomy. Task? Let's go. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I feel like improvements could have been made. Harlock is like. <laughs> <laughs>